Hi guys, well, here's all my uh, Batman, Batman figures so far from uh, Hot Toys. As you can see, I now have um, the DX12. And uh, what a fantastic looking figure it is. I'll just go into um, some extra details. Uh, I've um, upgraded my DX02 over there as well. Uh, and I've got Bruce Wayne, he's just in some temporary uh, Enter Bay clothing at the moment, waiting for his, waiting for his suit to turn up from uh, eBay. Um, the reason I'm not going to do an in-depth review on uh, the DX12 is I, I feel that a lot of people now are getting figures before me, they're going direct to China, and uh, you know, I'm not going to say that you know people shouldn't do that, I think people should do whatever they feel comfortable. I feel more comfortable shopping from 1.6 Bruce. Um, he gives great value for money. I have peace of mind that I'm not going to have to pay any customs charges. And um, he's not only a seller I trust, I also consider him a good friend now. So for me, I'll always buy figures from 1.6 Bruce. So my reviews of these figures will come a lot later than other people. And in my opinion, when you look at someone like uh, Xenomorph 1, um, just saw his Captain America review. You know, he's does such a fantastic in-depth review on these things. I feel, you know, guys, if you want to see everything that you need to see, check out those those early some of those early reviews because they're great. Um, but I won't, you know, when I get these things, I'll still uh, do video updates. I'll still talk about what I like about the figure. And, um, you know, I, won't comp I don't want to completely abandon the 1.6 community because um, I still feel a part of it. I still like watching other people's videos. And, um, you know, I know a lot of people feel that I've, I've moved away from uh, that subject a lot because I do my movie reviews and my Blu-ray reviews. But I, I will, you know, now and then when I get a figure, I will still do an update on it. And uh, what this is just looks fantastic, I think. You know, close up, just amazing. And you can definitely tell when you get this, the, this, these new figures, the quality compared to the old ones has improved hot toys are still um, you know improving whoops get out of, going out of focus here because I've got such bad lighting um, hot twos are, are still improving on the quality of their figures um, you know I put it I'm putting it up next to say this one here it's a great figure don't get me wrong but uh, I'm having trouble with focusing today. It's a great figure, you know, the Begins one. But uh, when you put it up against, and even the uh, DX02 here. By the way, um, I did have, this one was getting leaky abs. And the way I solved it was um, there's some plastic that I put underneath underneath the top part of the suit here, you can see that. What I do is you just cut the clear, say like you've got a, a blister pack that keep uh, little seven inch figures and you cut the clear plastic out to make an ab shape and you put it underneath and uh, that just stops the um, leaking from uh, happening and it's, uh, I've had that like that now for, it was like a slight leak coming through and I had that for six months where I, I put the plastic underneath and uh, it's totally stopped it from happening and I've checked the suit underneath and that doesn't seem to be affected either for some reason they seem to when they're touching each other have a bad chemical reaction I've replaced the um, belt here with the DX12 as well um, for some reason the belt was turning black on the uh, the other one but uh, there you go and I put the neck collar on this is still the begins Batman Begins uh, head sculpt on this one but I've put the neck collar on that which is giving it a better look so I'm quite happy with uh, keeping my DX02 just to have this um, like Hong Kong Bruce Wayne scene where he's you know, about to put the sonar hat on there's my bank robber jet head joker which I love you know he's not got the best outfit, he's got the very first joker outfit but Actually, that is uh, purple. You just don't really see it on on uh, on this camera. But there you, there you can see look, the quality now that they've got to. Fantastic. 
Okay, so I've got the Bruce Wayne head, and this is on an Enterbay suit, old Enterbay, um, Jason Bourne suit that I, I got. And I just thought I'd stick him on that, I'm waiting for a suit to come through uh, from uh, eBay. And um, I'll have, here's a bit of a moan. I think that, um, you know, why Hot Toys include a Bruce Wayne head sculpt, and then they have a connector underneath that only would fit the DX... Um, 12 that makes no sense to me I mean why not you sell true types so you're obviously you know encouraging your customers to customize figures and you know that we'd probably want to have uh, Bruce Wayne in a, a suit uh, rather than just having him with the, the Batman outfit so why go out of your way to make it uh, really hard for us to uh, fit it onto a true type I had to find a, an old true type connector file it down so it fit, fitted inside the neck and then so I was able to fit it on the true type which is a complete pain you know just silly things like that that, that, that um, Hot Toys managed to uh, you know wind you up about I love the golden belts on these, this figure as well the EMP gun actually lights up pretty nicely in, in uh, the dark and uh, overall as I say uh, looking forward to uh, getting Bane and um, yeah by the way the eyes on this I can get that they're nowhere near as bad as they, they look on uh, photographs um, I think what gives it some some of the buggy eyed look um, when you see photographs is because of the the fleshy part is uh, there's still they left it um, pink in some places which uh, makes the eyes look bigger when you get flash photography but uh, great figure looking forward to uh, as I said adding to the Batman collection um, we'll get Bane, won't get Catwoman um, obviously gonna get a suit for Bruce and uh, I will we'll definitely do an update at a later time I'll catch you later